SVC-041-0015. Resolution 1, Testing Pump Motor Performance. Applicable to 100 to 120 volts, 60 hertz only. It should be performed only by an approved service provider. Here is a list of the tools you will need. 1. Remove electrical power and ensure the rotisserie is cool to the touch before performing this procedure. 2. Remove the right-hand side access panel and the recirculation pump's cover. 3. Enter the test mode. A. Plug in the unit. B. Pull out the main on-off red switch. C. Press the stop button for 3 seconds to cancel any previous program. For the Inferno 3500, the display shows, please do not add water until flame is visible. For the Inferno GC and 4500, the display shows, preheat or clean. D. Press the down, edit and up buttons together for 3 seconds. The display shows, drive motor off. 4. Fill the water pan. A. For the Inferno 3500, using the up and down buttons, scroll down to water valve. For the Inferno GC and 4500, using the up and down buttons, scroll down to water sown. B. Press enter and let the water fill until the output shuts off 30 seconds later. 5. Run the recirculation pump. A. Using the up and down buttons, scroll up to Circle Pump. B. Press Enter to run the pump. The pump will run for 30 seconds each time the Enter button is pressed. 6. Monitor the pump's decimal values displayed on screen. A. If the pump value goes up to between 500 and 800, then drops down and stabilizes to a value averaging between 220 and 270, this is the normal pump value or behavior. The pump's value low limit threshold is 210 for the Inferno 3500, 200 for the Inferno GC, and 195 for the Inferno 4500. Proceed to resolution 2. B. If the pump value is greater than 500 and stable, the motor is probably seized and is not turning. Proceed to step 7. C. If the pump value varies between 270 and 500, there is a possible blockage on the output of the pump or we have a jammed impeller. Proceed to resolution 3. D. If the pump's value varies between 10 and 200, there is a possible blockage on the input of the pump or at the strainer level, nozzles, or we have a broken impeller. Running auto clean produces the check water message. Proceed to resolution 3. E. If the pump values starts normal and drops steadily, there are possible leaks or blockages in other components. Running auto clean produces the check water message. Proceed to resolution 2. F. If the pump value is below 10, it means that no voltage is going through the pump circuit. Check the F3 fuse on the controller and verify all wirings and connections to the pump. Verify that the motor's resistance is neither opened or shorted. Running AutoClean produces the check water message. Resolve power issue. 7. Verify that the motor's resistance is neither open nor shorted. Should be between 5 to 8 ohms. A. 
Turn the oven off by pushing the main on off red switch. B. Use a multimeter to measure the resistance of the motor by connecting at contact D5 of the 12 positions terminal board, item 24, and the purple wire of the connector J7 on the control board, item number 15. If necessary, refer to the wiring diagram located inside the right hand side access panel. C. If the motor appears to be opened or shorted, replace the recirculation pump assembly as described in resolution 6. D. If the reading appears normal between 5 to 8 ohms, reconnect the pump and proceed to resolution 2. This concludes resolution 1, testing motor performance, SVC-041-0015. For any assistance, call Hart at 1-800-387-6847.